right. How's everybody doing today? And so, you know, yesterday we spent yesterday talking about marketing funnels that you need in your travel business. So if you missed that, you want to check out yesterday's training where we talked all about marketing funnels and the ones that you need in your travel business. And one of the primary ones that we need to attract clients to our business is an attraction funnel. But you need an offer to do that. So today we're going to talk about how you can easily create a new offer that's tied to your specific destination that you are trying to sell. So this is for my travel advisors that are selling groups or travel advisors that have a very specific destination that they want to promote. Let's say you love... uh, you know, Sandals Resorts in Jamaica. I don't even know which Sandals Resort is in Jamaica, but, you know, Sandals is all uh, all over the Caribbean. And you decide that you want to promote Caribbean and you want to promote specifically Jamaica or a particular resort. Well, why not have an offer that's tied to either your group trip or your particular signature um, itinerary that you want to promote? Instead of having a generic opt-in offer that's like a packing checklist, don't get me wrong, checklists are great, let's create an offer that's tied to ultimately what you want to sell and ultimately that's tied to the type of client you want to help get out of town. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to create an irresistible lead magnet and a lead magnet, I call it a stranger offer. But a lead magnet is just that. It's an offer that you create that is intended to attract your perfect client. It's going to allow somebody to raise their hand and say, hey, that's me. I'm interested. I want what you have to talk about. Give it to me. And in exchange, they'll give you their contact information. So how many of you guys are already familiar with stranger offers, opt-in offers, lead magnets? They're called a lot of different freebie offers. Whatever that may be in your world, how many of you all have one that you utilize to get new leads in your travel business? Type in the comments and let me know so I can see where you are. Or maybe you're new to lead magnets and you're like, oh, that sounds interesting. I need one. But before we dive in on exactly how we can do that, let me tell you, you guys have already participated. You've already done it yourself. You've seen this really juicy thing online, maybe in Facebook, maybe on Instagram, TikTok, or someplace, Pinterest, doesn't matter. On Pick your social media platform, actually go in your email box, inbox, and there's somebody who is offering you something, right? Good marketers are always doing that. And we want you to be a good marketer. So you may have already participated in the cycle and not even been aware of it. Now it is time for you to open your eyes and be aware that you are already part of the marketing game. You might as well start playing it. All right. So the first thing is, is I get a lot of travel advisors. It's like, yeah, I I have an opt-in and I've got like a checklist or I've got this. And it's really not wow. Like it doesn't wow me. It probably doesn't wow their ideal client because it's general. What if we could actually create opt-in stranger offers that were connected to your ideal market, your ideal client, the person that you want to help get out of town? What if you could do that? Well, you can. So We've got our friendly chat GPT, but I'm actually going to show you guys a new tool that I've been playing with. Um, It is similar to chat GPT. It's called Claude AI. Um, And so now I am using three different AI, conversational AI tools, and one of them is Claude. So I want to introduce this to you and I want to take my prompts that I'm going to share with you. I've already shared if you are inside of our Facebook community, AI for Travel Advisors, which is at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash AI for Travel. I have already given you guys this guide and you probably don't even know the goal that you have. So we're going to actually take the prompts that a couple of the prompts that are in the guide and we're going to generate ideas for our travel business that's connected to my ideal client or your ideal client and the destination that you want to sell. 
in comments if you guys are watching this live or if you're watching this in the replay and you would like to have me utilize your example um go ahead and put in your destination and i will use your destination as an example and so i'm going to uh share my screen now see if i can uh do this i always love when i try all right perfect all right so we got claude up and so for those who are new to claude why am I using Claude? Well, because I am also in AI communities and everyone has been talking about how Claude is the cat's meow. And I was like, I like cat's meow. I like uh, cool stuff and I love all things AI. So why why Claude over, let's say, chat GPT? Claude's, you know, I've been playing with it for the last couple of weeks and Claude, I like its copy. I like the way it writes um, its copy. It's a different conversational AI model um, ChatGPT uses the ChatGPT models. They've got several different new models that they just released a 4.0 a model, um, and they've got a 4 mini. So they release models all the time. That has been my boo uh, for the last 18 months. Claude may be my side, <laughs> side guy um, but now because I really am liking the way Claude. What I was introduced to Claude about is, is that Claude can take uh, your prompts and generate code. So if you are a developer, which none of you travel advisors really are uh, techie like me, I was intrigued by Claude because I am a partial mini developer. I work with developers all the time to create amazing solutions for travel advisors. And I was like, oh, Claude can generate code. And then I was talking to someone who's like, yeah, it does more than just code generation. It also does copy and the same stuff that ChatGPT does. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. So the last week and a half, I've been trying Claude out and I like Claude. Um, so it doesn't mean that it replaces ChatGPT. It's in addition to ChatGPT. So what I've been listening to on the internet streets is that Claude uh, ChatGPT is good for the idea generation and Claude is good for the copy. I'll give you more, um, give you more of my thoughts on that over the upcoming weeks and let you know. But for now, we're going to actually do, we're going to use Claude for idea generation and actual content creation. So let's get to it. So here I've got Claude up. And if you want to get to Claude, it's going to be Claude.ai. I have already upgraded to their $20 version because everybody charges $20 for AI these days. So I have already upgraded to uh the Claude professional version. And what I do like about is a uh, professional version is this whole idea of projects. So you can upload your documents, your content, and it literally is like a mini uh, chat uh, or GPT that will keep the conversation in relationship to the documentation that you do so that you could literally be writing prompts against the documentation that you do. A little bit techie, but if you're in a, if you're into AI and you're into AI for your travel business, it's a great um, idea. So, like, if you have a destination that is your upcoming group trip, and you want to load the itinerary, you want to load the um, like the pricing information, all the info, maybe all the activities, all the information that is available about your group trip, then you can write prompts um, or give it uh, have chat messages against that particular content love the idea of the project so enough of a, enough of me geeking out let's actually create some lead magnets so i actually um in my funnel mastery class we actually have a workbook and so i'm going to take this workbook i'm going to copy the prompt uh that is here and i'm going to actually use that prompt um here which it already has everything that we need. However, what I do need is I need to give it context. I need to tell it about my ideal client. So I already have that information here. So let me just copy that right here. This destination, copy that into Claude. And then I'm going to hit enter and let's see. Now, the purpose of this prompt is to get give us 10 different lead magnets ideas for our particular destination that we want to do. Um, and so this did not uh, do it the way that I wanted it to do. Um, so love it when um, 
me do a little bit of I uh, context setting for Claude. Here's my ideal client. I'm going to use this prompt here. Love when you um, now. Do the stuff live. All right. Claude does this a little bit different than ChatGPT, so let's see what. Uh, let's do. Use against. actually had uh, plans to show you guys this in ChatGPT and I thought, you know, let me show you in Claude and let's see how Claude handles it. And I don't really like the way it's handling. It's not reading my prompt really well. All right. All right. So let's go to ChatGPT. So that did not operate the way that I wanted it to should have done some testing, which is what I normally do. But hold on, let me just put this in chat GPT for you all and show you the magic. I'm gonna have to play with uh, uh, Claude a little bit more. I may have, I may take one of these ideas and um, let it do its magic on the content creation because I really have enjoyed the content that it has been doing. Uh, creating particularly like all right let's see if I have really just messed up chat GPT and all of its loveliness all right I have hold on when a live demo fails, you just start and do it over. <laughs> All right, one more time, ladies and gents. All right, so we're going to copy the prompt. And this is the wonderful thing about uh, doing things live is you're doing them live. All right, so hold on. Let me get my target summary and give that to you. Paste that there. And then end up prompt. So the beautiful thing about AI is, is that you got to be precise in terms of what it is that you want. And so here, what we're, I wonder what's going on. Oh, you know what? I'm copying the wrong prompt. <laughs> That's the reason why. I love it. Got the wrong prompt there. Sorry. I'm like, why is it like totally missing? So maybe Claude's not a failure. It's operator error. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so let's see what Claude has to say now. There we go. All right. So I was a little panicked there. I was wondering what was going on with Claude. So the thing is, is I, I, I gave it the prompt for my ideal client as opposed to the prompt that generates the idea. So my bad. Sorry about that. Um, but here, now we've got a list of of types of downloads, digital ideas. Uh, so what the download name, the title is and a description for that. And really now your objective is to actually utilize is to pick one, like pick one of these ideas. Now I want to sort of decompose what happened in this prompt and why it's such the bomb.com is not only did it give you ideas that are above and beyond than just the regular travel guide, don't get me wrong, travel guides are great. However, what if the travel guide doesn't connect like you want it to? Maybe you're not getting people to opt in. Maybe you need something that's specific to who your audience is and what they're interested in 
connected to the destination. And that's what this prompt is doing for you. It's actually taking a look at who your ideal client is, looking at your destination and marrying the two of them to then create you an ideal list that's, cu that's curated specifically for your ideal client and the destination that you want. So let's take a look at kind of a little bit of the components of this. What I did in the prompt is I asked it for the 10 ideas. I asked it to give me a list of the titles for those um, ideas and then to give me a brief description of what the digital download would be good for. What I specifically asked it also to do was to take into consideration my ideal client what they're struggling with in terms of getting themselves out of town, right? What are their main uh, struggle points? And then to create an ideal list based on that. So what I did is I took my ideal client. And so I had already had some information about my ideal client. Um, I said that she was a professional woman who loves food and culture, but struggles with balance, um, has a demanding job. Right. And I do have a prompt. So that first prompt that I was copying originally helped me articulate who that person is. Right. I gave a few words about who my ideal client is, and then it spit out for me my target audience summary and my pain points, the pain points of my client. I use those pain points to then define my 10 list. Now, when it comes to the usage of AI, context is queen or king in your case, depending on if you're a guy or a girl, is giving the, the tool the context of what you want, who you're speaking to, and really what the objective is of the prompt. That's what's all in the meat of this prompt. This is also available, again, if you are part of my AI for Travel Advisors Facebook group, this guide with these prompts are already there. So you can now immediately join that group. You look at the, the guide and you will have a list of ideas for you to select from. I like the way Claude did this. I was a little disappointed and I was like, why is it Claude doing what I wanted to do? And now it did. So I said I was looking for a professional woman who likes, uh, what did I say? <laughs> Let's see, what did I say? I said, I was looking for a professional in me. Um, let me wrap this so I can read all that. I said, a professional woman who loves food and culture but struggles for balance. She's a demanding career. Uh, my ideal client are workaholics with older children in college or married seeking luxury escapes uh, for trips to recharge. Now, don't get me wrong. I did not come up with all of these words myself. My ideal client prompt helped me with articulating these words. And then the pain points, I use those pain points. So let's take a look at the types of ideas that uh, Claude came up with. Claude came up with the checklist, uh, ultimate Bali foodie bucket list, which I love that um, is. And so what I also like to do is I like to take the list and I like to copy it. You can actually hit this copy and then you can take it to Excel. I'm an Excel like queen. I love Excel. Um, and so in our offer, uh, stranger offer ideas, I'm just going to go to the bottom of this and I'm going to paste these ideas here paste those as values. I don't like the way that copied. So I'm just going to actually open up a Word document, Google Documents, new doc, and I'm going to paste it there. One of the things I didn't tell Claude to do was to format the um, output. So it's kind of given it to me in um, weird format. So I'm actually just going to let's see if we copy that. What is it going to do? Yeah, I still don't like that format. So let's tell Claude to format it as a table. Should already be formatted as a table, but for some reason it's not liking the, I am playing with Claude and it's formatting. Does it work exactly like ChatGPT? When I tell ChatGPT to do it a format, a copy and it, it pastes really easily. Claude I'm finding is not as easily pasteable as um, some of the, um, as ChatGPT is. Oh, I forgot. I also asked for hot take titles because that is what I do. All right, let's see if I can copy this one uh, in this sample. This will copy over. 
Yeah, I still don't like the way it's copying. All right, so got to play with Claude on the format examples. But what I will tell you is I still like I still like the um, I still like the output. All right, so what I have here in the list is out of the type of document it is, the uh, title of the document or what the purpose of the talk document is, and then a description. And then I've given you three different hot take titles. Hot take titles are just titles that have hooks that are intended to get somebody to stop the scroll and actually be interested in it. So this gives you three options to pick from. Once you pick your type of download that you want, you pick a title and then you'll use that title and that um, download to actually um, uh, do the next prompt, which is to actually create an outline for you for understanding, um, for actually creating the content. So it's great to have an idea. It's great to have a title, but now you actually need the content. And that's what the second prompt will do for you is actually create an outline for whichever one that you pick. So let's pick one of these really quick. And I know some of you guys in comments gave me some of your examples. Um, I sure do love Excel. You are correct. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love, love Excel. I love all things spreadsheets. That is my jam. I create spreadsheet templates for you travel advisors all the time. So um, an e-guide, a Bali Spa and Wellness Retreat Planner. Love that. A workbook, guilt-free vacation planner. Love that. Infographic. Infographic is just an image that has really great imagery and some steps and text on it. A mini course if you're a trainer like and a teacher like me quizzes love quizzes but it doesn't really matter the idea is to get the ideas on paper for you to pick one and to get it to market as quickly as possible so you can't generate leads unless you've actually got an offer that somebody is interested you don't have an offer if you don't get it in front of people so don't put a lot of time and effort into well, should I do one versus option number eight? It doesn't matter which one that you do. Get it out there in front of people as quickly as possible. I'm not suggesting that you get it out there wretched. Get it out there professionally uh, designed and done. Create a funnel around it and test it and make sure that it's actually getting. And if it doesn't work, then swap that out. Swap that funnel out with the next idea. Don't be um, don't be scared to test. And don't be afraid to actually um, swap things out that aren't working. I've had a lot of opt-in offers that didn't convert, that didn't get, doesn't mean that I'm a failure, just means that the opt-in didn't connect. So it could be a myriad of different reasons why the opt-in didn't connect. Maybe the title wasn't good. Maybe the content is great, but the title didn't stop people in their tracks. That's the reason why I've given you three hot take titles. So before you throw that opt-in out the window, test the titles. Maybe the titles need to be changed. Maybe it's the copy on the um, invitation to opt in. Maybe it's the copy on the landing page. It could be a myriad of things. So before you throw out the idea, change some of the cues that you have. Titles, uh, the, the posts that offer, that get people interested, that attract them. It could be that. It could be the copy on the page. It could be that they give you their email address, but they don't actually open the email. So it could be the email subject headlines. There could be a myriad of different things. Again, that could be the reason why you're not getting the results that you want. The point is, is to get in the game. The only way that you can fail or succeed is to get in the game. My husband always says you can't win a lottery ticket unless you play. And this is the same thing for you. You cannot win at getting leads unless you attempt it. All right. So let's take the second prompt and let's I'm going to pick the first one just because I like checklists. Um, so I'm actually going to copy this. I'm just going to copy the first, the first, a minute. I don't know that I like that title. So I'm just going to copy this second one here. And then I'm going to use, uh, let's see, I don't like that queen one. I like this one. I like the booties paradise. You guys like the foodies paradise? I like the foodies paradise. Uh oh. I have to say that I am getting a little bit used to how Claude does its thing. Uh, I'm gonna 
work on the, the format prompts. All right, and then the title, let's say checklist, not checklist, title is that, uh-oh, I guess I didn't like that, foodie paradise, I'm going to copy this foodie paradise, copy that, and here is the title right there, cheat sheet, ultimate guide, and then I'm going to copy my second prompt, which is going to be to create an outline, an outline for this offer. So now that we've got the actual offer that we want, I want to create, I oh, didn't paste that, paste. Outline. Thought I pasted it. Control C. All right. All right. So now, what this is going to do is let's make sure I copy the right thing. No, I don't think I did copy the right thing. I think I copied the wrong thing. You'll have to forgive me. I am actually uh, demoing Claude on the on the fly. Here, let me just take that. All right, now. All right. So now, what I did is I said I wanted a checklist from Claude, and I wanted it to be the Foodie Paradise Your Bali Cheat Sheet. And so now, what it's done is it's now created the outline the main body um, sections for your content piece so that you know what to write about. And then it actually has broken it out into major areas that you can talk about. And then it's giving you a conclusion. So this is the outline that I would then use to then create the content. But of course, you know that I have a prompt that actually creates the content. What I'm doing is called uh, prompt stacking. So I have an objective in one message. I'm going to do a couple of different steps, use several different prompts that are going to get me what I want. Now, what I always tell everybody is when I'm doing this sort of prompt stacking, you want to make sure that you are copying and pasting stuff out into, I like to keep things into a Word document or an Excel document if you're not an Excel or a Sheets person. But I like to do that because, listen, this is technology and there are millions, if not billions of people who are using it. And so sometimes it gets stuck and sometimes it, it doesn't work. Like ChatGPT will go down, it'll have an incident, it'll like freeze. So I don't ever like to figure out like where I was. So I always just, just think about when you're working on something and you're always pushing save because your computer decides to reboot. That's the reason why I copy things as I go. So I would copy this outline into a Word document. I copy my ideas into an Excel just because I like Excel, but you could copy that into a Word document as well. You will then take, you've got this outline. If you don't like the outline or you want some di different items, this is your opportunity to ask for those changes, ask for some modifications, some more insight, ask for it, and then you'll use the next prompt, which is to actually take this guide this outline that you've created and actually create the, uh, the, the content piece. So the actual piece. So this is where we, um, so this prompt here will actually take the content. And the only thing that you need to do on this last prompt is you need to ask, tell it what the call to action is. Do you want them to book a discovery call? Do you want them to join a Facebook group? What is the call to action that you want your user after reading the guide or the checklist or whatever it is that you decided, what do you want them to do? So you just need to define that call to action inside of the next prompt. And so here I'm just copying that and call to action. Encourage you to reach out to, uh, to play. And I put here to complete a travel request. Um, if you're doing a group trip and maybe you have a wait list, maybe you give them a link to, uh, you encourage them to join the wait list or maybe to book now. Whatever your call to action is, create it. 
remember that this is a stranger offer. So don't be asking for sales <laughs> in stranger offers. Don't in your uh, lead magnets. The objective is to get the lead not necessarily the sale because you're going to then build a nurturing sequence to then get them into a buy decision in the future. So this is the cup of coffee. When you meet somebody and you say, hey, let's get to know each other. Like, I'd like to go out and get to know you. You know, you remember when you were dating, if you are still dating, right? This is not marriage. This is the coffee that we're asking for that first date, so to speak. So again, do not rush to a major multiple thousand dollar decision as your call to action. All right. So now we're going to use this prompt. And what it's going to do is going to take this outline and then it's going to actually create your content piece for you. Now, there's a variety of different things that you can do to help even customize this to be more in your language. One of those is the tone. You can define the tone to be more in line with who you and how you speak. The tone that I've included in here, when you look at the prompt, the tone that I said is engaging, informative, and tailored to the target audience. You could, if you are, I mean, literally with AI, you could tell it to model Kevin Hart. Like I actually learned that in a training. I was like, what? Yeah, so you can like pick a comedian that you wanna model it after. If, they're, if, if you like humor, you like travel specific humor, you can tell it to do that. So really what you wanna do is kind of identify the tone that represents the way that you talk the way that you um, write and then define that in the prompt. So that would be certainly something that I would modify when you're looking at this prompt for yourself is to have a tone that's more representative of you. That is where the uniqueness comes in is because no one speaks like you. Nobody talks like you. What I love about Claude is you can give Claude, if you set up a project, you can give Claude examples of your writing for it to then extrapolate the tone that you speak in so that you can utilize that in the instructions of the output that it does. Pretty powerful um, thing that Claude's got. Now, ChatGPT has it, but it's it's a little bit uh, cumbersome. You got to create a custom GPT. You got to do all this stuff. Claude's already right here out of the box, ready for you to do that with the project. You just have to be on the professional version to do that. Now, what I would always say when I recommend AI um, and output is read. Don't just copy and paste any output and not read it and make sure that it's relevant, um, contextually factual, right? Because <laughs> ChatGPT and these GPTs out here will go out there and make up some stuff. In some cases, it, it doesn't have context for which it'll just fill in the blank with some random stuff that may or may not be true. So it's important that you read everything that gets generated on your behalf, because again, this is representative of you and what you stand for. All right, so now we've got this lead magnet. Now you go over, you watched tomorrow, yesterday's training, and you go plop that lead magnet and create yourself a attraction funnel, an opt-in funnel that gets somebody to download your new cheat sheet. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you create irresistible offers. Don't make them generic. Don't go download everybody else's travel guide that you see out on the um, internet streets and then hope that it connects. Make the connection special. Make the connection unique to who you service and to the destinations that you want to go on. Create opt-ins that are irresistible to your ideal client and let ChatGPT or Claude help you do so. Listen, if you have any questions, let me know in comments because we're about to go ahead right on over to our uh, office hours. And if you would like to join us inside of the Zoom room, you can go to sundaygardener.com Dot com. Click on office hours. You'll get the link to the Zoom room and I will see you there. Office hours are open to any travel advisor that has any open questions. I am there. You just need to keep your questions down to five minutes so that I can answer anyone and all questions during our time together. Last thing to let you know, you saw in the background that we have a video visibility challenge. So if you have not signed up and you want to get in front of more people and you want to talk video, right? We're not only going to do video that is you um, talking or you on camera. I'm going to talk to you and give you prompts that are going to be great ideas for you to actually 
use images and your 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 voice as audio. Listen, our video 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 our video challenge starts October seventh. It's only one dollar to join me for twenty one days, where I'm going to give you prompts, tips on how to show up and show out through video. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.